show starts in eight minutes. Yum, yum. It's time for a tasty and refreshing snack. to satisfy your hunger, your thirst, your sweet tooth. So visit our refreshment center now. Let's go! How's your day going? Pouring as usual. Just ready to leave. How's yours? Going okay. Any plans for the evening? I might just stay at home. Maybe cook something. No, you don't have to stay in tonight. I know, but all of my friends are busy tonight. Why don't you come out with me? We've talked about this. I don't know if I'm ready. Mia? Yes? Just say yes. Yes. Here's my number. Call me later.
Hello? Are you excited to be? So did you get my message? As I was getting off, I did. So where are we going to meet? There's this nice restaurant downtown. How about there? Okay, but how will I know it's you? Trust me. You'll know. See you soon. Okay, bye. Someone sitting here? No. It must be Mia. I'm Lorenzo. Mind if I sit? Yeah, sure. Have a seat. <sighs> After talking to you on the net for about a year, and actually seeing you in person, honestly, you're much prettier in person. Well, thanks. You're really not much like I expected you to look either. I take it you were expecting a overweight guy, bad breath, and a freakish enjoyment for, for Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> Honestly, yes. Mm, sorry to disappoint you. I'm not that much disappointed. You're I mean, cool. Is it awkward us actually meeting like this? Yeah, it's awkward, but I'm having a good time. So am I. I mean, you want to get something to eat? Sure. Why not? Sweet. Pretty girl like you single. Well honestly, it's pretty difficult, you know. My last relationship, it was very abusive. Both mentally and physically. There would be times where like my boyfriend, you know, he would come home drunk or mad or whatever. And I could say the slightest thing, do the slightest thing. He would literally beat my ass. So I just had to get out of that situation. So one day, he wasn't home. I just came, I packed up all my things, and I never looked back. And honestly, I don't plan on looking back. I don't blame you. Call me old fashioned, but I, I never saw the need for a man to put his hands on a woman at all, no matter if you're mad or not. And if me and you ever reach that point in our relationship, I promise, no matter how angry I get, I'll never put my hands on it. You know, something about you, it just feel like I've known you forever. The exact same way. You know, I really 
really don't want this night to end. You don't have to. Brothers and one that you're running from, but if you got money, fuck it, then I won't sell. It's gonna be a second date. I don't see why not. You can only hope for the future, right? Yep, only hope for the future. Meet me at the spot. Okay.
dictator taking care of business last night. Just a moment of paralysis. It won't happen again. Will it? The organization has its doubts. And I have my doubts. You just may not be cut out for this. Your heart not in it. Just give me one more chance to prove myself. Well, your new assignment is in your email. It'll destruct in about a half hour. The organization wants this handled in a timely fashion. And I hope it won't take you up to a whole year to complete this one. Not at all. When do we start? About three weeks from now. Just give this time to die down. You give me your word, you'll take care of business, right? I give you my word. Get out. Three weeks since the disappearance of Mia Porter. Police have not given up on a search, but with the little clues they have to go on, police will be calling off the search at the end of the week. If anyone has any information, please call 555-6969. Again, it's 555-6969. With CNT News, I am Hallie Burnett. Tell me about yourself. I'm 21. I just graduated from SBC, getting my bachelor's in veterinary technology. Okay. Um, I have a daughter. I don't know if you're okay with kids. You know, I've never had the experience, but um, I'm open to new things. Okay. Well, yeah, she's fine. So tell me a little bit about yourself. I mean, there's really not much to tell. Um, in between jobs right now. Uh, I've been living in Detroit all, most of my life. Uh, I do plan to move eventually. I plan on moving out of the state soon, so oh. probably to California or to Florida, somewhere sunny. So okay. Get out of, I'll be Detroit. Uh, what kind of work do you do? A little bit of this, a little bit of that. But what are you interested in? Oof. Um, people, actually. Go into detail uh, for me. <laughs> um.
the producer. Fucking shit, I was not ready. He an idiot. Excuse him. Let's start again. Hold on. Hold on. I was trying to get the recorder ready. Shame on her. Yeah, cause I, cause I got her at the crib. What were it puts, puts a lotion, lotion on the skin. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, I ain't got no kids. What? The 3, 2, 1 is just not registered. I guess not. <laughs> Um, yeah. I want to dedicate this to all my people. 